Welcome to the hottest movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the game changer, Wes Truth. Well, I am back today with a review of a movie you probably most likely have seen a version of in your lifetime. But guess what? This version is a little bit different. You want to, I'm going to tell you a little bit about it right now, because right here is my review of The Jungle Book. You know what we got to look for? The bare necessity is the simple benefit. Let's do it. A young boy who was left in the jungle as an orphan was found and raised by a panther named Bagheera and a pack of wolves. Years later, a tiger named Shere Khan threatens the boy's life as long as he stays in the jungle as it's forbidden for man to be there. Mowgli decides to leave the wolves for their own safety and is escorted uh, back to the human village by Bagheera. On his journey, the man-cub encounters elephants, a snake, monkeys, and of course, a bear named Baloo. So what did I think of The Jungle Book? I thought it's a well-made remake. This latest adaptation of the Rudyard Kipling story retells the 1967 animated Disney classic in a live-action version, much like Alice in Wonderland, Maleficent, and Cinderella. This is easily one of the best retellings so far. First off, the visuals and cinematography are gorgeous. They're gorgeous, making all of the animals look great. I wasn't taken out of the movie once thinking, that animal looks fake. This is also one of the few films I can recommend to spend the extra few dollars to upgrade to the 3D screening. While it may follow the same outline as the animated film, there are quite a bit of differences, some of which actually surprised me. The adaptation is darker in tone and may actually frighten some of the younger members of the audience. With that being said, there are so, there's some humor thrown in, with Baloo getting most of the laughs. Don't be surprised if you end up shedding a few tears here or there either, so bring your box of tissues. <laughs> There's also a bit more action than I expected, from a chase in the temple to a flood, and of course a final face-off with Shere Khan. For those who feel you'll miss the classic songs from the 1967 version, don't get too down. There's a few verses from The Bare Necessities and I Wanna Be Like You thrown in. Oh yeah. Neil Sathai stars as the only human member of the cast as Mowgli, the orphan boy raised in the jungle who must move on with his life. The voice cast is pitch perfect and includes Bill Murray as Baloo, the bear who befriends Mowgli and wants the boy to stay in the jungle, Ben Kingsley as Bagheera, the panther who found Mowgli and wants to take him back to his village for the boy's own safety, Idris Elba as Shere Khan, the fierce tiger who wants to kill Mowgli, Lupita Nyong'o as Raksha, the wolf who raised Mowgli with her cubs and feels as though she's his mother, Scarlett Johansson as Ka, the hypnotic snake, and Christopher Walken as King Louie, the large ape who wants Mowgli to teach him how to make fire. <laughs> if you're a fan of the original Disney film, I'd easily recommend checking out this version of The Jungle Book as well. I'm going to give it the rating of A-List Approved. That's right, it gets the A-List. Seal of Approval. All right, well, that's the review. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. You can like the show on Facebook, Facebook.com slash West True Baylist. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter and the Instagram at West A List. Until next time, Troop out. Oh, ooh, bad do. I want to be like you.